Hello, welcome back. We're on to another section here with uh, Connor, I believe. And uh, so I'm just going to bring you guys right into it. Instance, well, I'm here right now. <laughs> I'm with Connor at what looks to be Jimmy's bar. Damn, I wish, I really wish I could fucking do that with a coin. It's so cool. Oh, so talentless. No androids allowed. Prosecutors. Owners will be prosecuted. Uh, you know, I don't want to break the rules. Should I go in? I wonder what happens if I just stand here, actually. I can't imagine anything good will happen. Fuck it, let's just go in. Okay. I can't imagine they'll get harassed at all in here. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Yo, Anderson, you there? No. That didn't work. Okay, scan faces. Okay, okay, buddy, are you Lieutenant Anderson? Do you look like a Lieutenant and or an Anderson? I don't know, let's pull triangle and find out. You're Derek Myers. You're security guards. No criminal record. Good stuff, man. Shit, I thought androids weren't allowed in here. Yeah, well... I guess I'll just see myself out, I suppose. I don't know what you want me to do, really, like... I need to come and see this fucking Lieutenant Anderson. Are you Lieutenant Anderson? <laughs> He's giving me the fuck me eyes, though. Look at that. He's Christopher Gray, unemployed. Oh, you had a DUI. Bad boy. Who are you? Are you Lieutenant Anderson? You know, I don't think you have a time to be the lieutenant of anything while it's also owning a, or running a bar, so... You're a business owner, yeah. I don't think you got you got what it takes, man. What's your problem? It's my problem. My problem's you, you fucking piece of shit. Who are you? Who the hell are you? You're Edward Dempsey. An uh, administrator, criminal record, none. Wow, he's <laughs> he's actually younger than I am. <laughs> Holy shit. I know this is in the future and stuff, but wow. That's... Buy you a... He... Yeah, he really is giving the fuck me eyes. Okay, I'll even be. Where are you, buddy? Mr. Anderson. It was, it was Lieutenant Anderson, right? No, I'm not like, making a shit up. Who are you? You're Kim Johan. Kim Johan, your delivery driver. Currently unemployed. Oh, that sucks, man. Uh, oh, domestic abuse. Uh, oh, no. Good fucking riddance, you're unemployed. But you, you look like you kind of sketchy down there. Ah, match. Lieutenant <laughs> Hank Anderson. Yeah, right. Look at that picture. Yeah, fucking right. Okay, okay. Okay, you're police lieutenant, right? Okay. At least we found, we found the man we're looking for. Introduce yourself. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. That's awfully rude. You know, I think he'll respond to Lieutenant threats. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. Okay, he doesn't respond to threats. Understood. Um, understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Buy my You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. That gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Well, I'm glad we worked things out. With alcohol, the best way to work things out. <sighs> Did you say homicide? See, all you gotta do is provide alcohol, and everybody can do what you want them to do. 
solid life advice. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Sorry, buddy. Just trying to help. Conflicting orders. Select priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why? Let's go. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? <laughs> I'm not confirming anything. Just make my way through. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. Well, that's not very it's nice. It's with me. It's it, it, guys. Pronouns, please. It's 2018, or like this is 2030 something. You don't talk. You don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. Hmm, okay. We were starting to me. think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so. You <laughs> call me an you asshole. Yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Call around eight from the landlord. Oh, I still get to move here. See, this is cool. I love this kind of the like the scene we've got here. That's when he found the It's like it's everything's so run down, but the place is so high tech as well at the same time. Jeez, it's funny that it exists all at the same time. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time, they hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy and wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. <laughs> I'm alive. You don't, don't look very alive, weeks. mate. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. <laughs> Make yourself at home. I'd. I'll be outside if you need me. Looks like we got a murder on our hands, boys. Investigate crime scene. Okay, so yeah, this is all really cool. Like, yeah, this guy apparently had an android as well. Like, it's just really funny when you think that about is it. Perfect. When you see, he's way too neat. No human rights. Stop talking. Things. I'm trying to talk. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But yeah, like, it, just like see how the fact that this this whole place is so run down, Red but ice. like you still got like an android Since and stuff. Friend Carlos, like, it's crazy. I don't know what we got here. Let's check if you're dead first. Oh, no, red ice. Oh, somebody's been on the drugs. You're deceased, yeah. Oh, well. That's a shame. He's deceased. Time of death, around 11.30 p.m. But that this was like weeks ago, right? But damn. He doesn't look, <laughs> he does look like a couple of week old body, honestly. Fingerprints match Ortiz, Carlos, theft aggregated assault. And what does that really tell me? Oh, stab wounds. 28 knife wounds. <laughs> Whoa. You had a bad night. Alright, let's see what this tells us. Let's go back in time. Have a look here. Victim fell here. Why did he fall? Oh, victim was stabbed there. Right, so he was stabbed across the room. And he came from the kitchen. Okay, cool. Excellent. Yikes. Poor guy. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Woof. Seems like the killer really had it in. I'd say so. Huh. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Let's look at the thing on the wall here. No. Uh, Analyze, yeah. Let's analyze this first. I am alive. Regular letters, font, cyber flash, sans. Right, so an android made that, I guess. Oh Jesus! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what, you I'm don't taste blood? blood. 
<laughs> I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your <laughs> mouth. You got it? Don't put any no. more evidence in your mouth. You can't stop me, man. <sighs> fucking hell, I can't believe I'll put whatever fucking evidence I want in my mouth. Hemoglobin, look at that. Okay, so what we can glean so far, this guy died. It done, Lieutenant. The android that stabbed him wrote, I am alive on the wall. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples? Here's the then? knife he used. No fingerprints. Again, supporting the idea that an android was involved, perhaps? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. What else we got to look at? Um, here's some stuff over here. Mr. CSI. Oh, magazines. Oh, yeah, shit. Eden Club. <laughs> Keep that for later. What else we got? Cupboards. What's in here? Let's open up and find out. Behind door number one? Just random shit. Okay. <laughs> Why did you make me look in there? There's nothing there. There's nothing, nothing at all. It's just random shit. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Uh, a chair. It was the chair? Did the chair do it? It's a chair and android. Uh, fingerprints. Carl Ortigas. Ortez. What was it? Was it Ortigas or Ortez? I can't really... My memory is just horrible. Really sorry. How about the baseball bat? Fingerprints. Let's go over the fingerprints. Ortiz. That was Carlos Ortiz. Theft and aggravated assault. Okay, and this is it has a big massive dent in it. Trace of thyrium. And there's the dude that fell. Let's rewind it a bit. <laughs> he wasn't hitting the wall, was he? No, Deviant took a knife. And then stabbed the fuck out of him. Ah, emotional shock, right. That explains a lot. Okay, so from here, he took a bat to his android. The android defended himself and stabbed the fuck out of him. As an android would do. Or as an android wouldn't do. That's, that's the whole point of it. Like, they're not programmed to do these kind of things, but here they are. Android sex officially better. Okay. Need to make sure I try that out sometime. Uh, what we got down here? Uh, open. Wow. This is disheveled everywhere. Look at this shit. Like, there's always time for beer cans, though. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, analyze. Uh, since 60 minutes ago. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Hmm, so it even didn't come out that way after all. You're wrong, Hank! You're wrong, Mr. Anderson. And let's just keep looking around. Is this shit here in the wall? Yeah, dried blood. So yeah, it did come that way. Um, what else have we got to look at? So around here. It's the bathroom. And there's something to inspect here. Let's have a look. Dead body? Oh, no dead body. There's never a dead body anymore. I miss having dead bodies to look at. A statue? A religious offering? Question mark? Who knows? There must have been more to... No, come on. In order to look at... The relig religious offering. There's like all sorts of shit in there. Look at that. All sorts of writing on the wall and stuff. Very superstitious. Writings on the wall. Okay, where are we going now? Um, how many pieces?
pieces of evidence. I need, I need ten. I only have seven. That was the magazine there. Um, I thought I just checked the bloods. Maybe not enough. Yeah, I guess it's, I already checked the bloods. Um, oh, this thing down here. L1. No, it's more dried bloods, right? There must be something more. Okay, TV. What's on the TV? Or this thing here. What, what am I looking at? Oh, the red ice. The drugs. Acetone, lithium, thyreum, and toluene, and hydrochloric acid. Mmm, sounds delicious to me. Okay, I got like two pieces of evidence there. What are you doing? Taking a picture? Alright, one more piece of evidence. And one more. I need one more to bring to Hank. I want to be a good boy for Hank. I want Hank to see I'm a good boy. I'm a good investigatory android dude person. No waste of space. Fuck, where? Where? Fuck. There must be some there must be something I've missed. That there's only I've only got ten pieces of evidence. Is it the thing on the counter? Like did I That was just a magazine, right? Oh okay. So, uh, no, it's just it's a window, right? Yeah, that was the magazine. Okay. What have I missed? The dried blood again here? More blood? Did that, did that bring up to 10? Yes, it did. Right, okay, cool. I did good. I did a good job. Alright, Hank. Uh, Hank. Here we go. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started. Um, um uh, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Huh? There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android. Uh, victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. Yes, because it had the. That that lines up with the evidence. Side. Go on. Uh huh. And then. Android stabbed the victim, yeah. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to. Fled to the living room. The living room? That fucking skill in one handed. And he tried to get away from the android. <laughs> Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. Uh, with the knife. With the knife? Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But damn right, because it's what doesn't happened. tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat. And lost some therium. Therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Damn right, I can, Mr. Anderson. Yeah, Hank's back to neutral. Because I can taste blood. Okay, so there's a the blue blood, the android blood, also known as th th thyrium, I guess, was that? Thyrium? Thry thyrium, I'm gonna call it thyrium. And. Mm, no, he came from the kitchen, didn't he? But he went over here. And. did something against this wall. There was a ladder. Ladder was used. Yep. Oh, we went to the attic. Yeah. No, just a handprint. Just a random handprint. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Brims. <laughs> Made me go yellow. 
Not fair. She wouldn't spook me like that. I went yellow. So... Oh yeah. She's a chair instead. Take. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing with that chair? <laughs> I'm going to check Bash something. you over the fucking head with it, you dusty old fart. Uh, check something. We're gonna see a spooky android up here. Would he have survived that long? Like, I don't know what androids need to survive. Like, obviously, they need energy from somewhere, right? So, what would it be? Is it the blood? Did he get energy from their blood or something? Is it like fuel? Who knows? Well, I'm guessing somebody probably knows, but not me. <laughs> that's not a spooky android, that's just a. Spooky mannequin. Why has he got a mannequin in his attic, though? You gotta wonder. It's really creepy. Oh, God. Shit. There he is. <laughs> Some crazy cookie android. I ain't gonna spook you, fella. I ain't gonna spook you. Pair of shoes. Nice shoes there. Mr. Android. Come on, where is he? Oh, spooking me here. Oh. Wow, look at the fucking look at his hands. Holy shit. I was just defending myself. I bet you were, but you killed the man. He was gonna kill me. Yeah, no, but you killed him. I'm just sorry about like I'm begging you. This was it's the difference between murder and manslaughter, but you killed them, buddy! You killed them! Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Um It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, I didn't even get a choice. Oh, <laughs> okay. Chris, to be fair, I would have chosen that anyway, but now. like I would have liked to be able to choose Come if on. I wanted to turn him in or not. That kinda sucks. Okay, cool. Well that's that scene over with. Um Examine shit and find the deviant. Oh, but look, look, there was another thing we could have ended of, we could have ended with. That would have been cool. I wonder what I had to do for that. Reconstruct a crime. Okay, so at that stage, I could have done something else that led on to that. I had some more stuff back here I could have done too. Uh, ah, but that's the corner knows what happened. So I guess I had to have not known what happened to get to that stage down there. Well, that's uh, something I could try another time, I suppose. Uh, so I think that's uh, that's been going on for quite a we've had this episode going for quite a while now, so I think we'll leave it there. So I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.